Hello everyone, my name is Michael and I have the pleasure to present our workshop paper Modern Hopfield Networks for Sample Efficient Return Decomposition from Demonstrations. I will give you a short overview of our paper and hope to see you at the workshop. In reinforcement learning, especially in real-world applications, we often have to deal with delayed reward problems. For example, you do something now and only later you get the reward for it. Such delays, especially if they are long, are problematic. For example, TD-based methods suffer from exponential decay of the reward information over this delay. In 2018, a method called RADAR was proposed to get rid of such delays, or at least to reduce them. This leads to a drastic speedup for underlying reinforcement learning methods, as you can see in this figure. SARSA and Q-learning require exponentially more episodes as the delay gets higher. RADAR, on the other hand, scales nicely to larger delays. So, how does RADAR work? Rather decomposes the return at the end of an episode into rewards and assigns these rewards directly to the state action pairs that it believes have caused the return. Therefore, the reward is given immediately at the state action pairs that are important for the return of the episode. In order to obtain such a return decomposition and redistribution of the rewards, Rather relies on pattern recognition methods to identify the important state action pairs in an episode. An important advantage of RADAR is that it can learn to detect important patterns within the episode by looking at other completed episodes. So it does not need to predict the future within an episode like typically reinforcement learning methods need to do. In the original RADAR publication, an LSTM model was proposed to realize this return decomposition and reward redistribution. However, an LSTM model requires a lot of episodes to train and is also quite difficult to adjust. This is a problem for RADAR in practical applications. So, in our paper, we propose to replace this LSTM model by a continuous modern Hopfield network. Continuous modern Hopfield networks are powerful associative memory networks with large storage capacity. They can be inserted plug and play into deep learning architectures. These continuous modern Hopfield networks excel at recognizing patterns. And the best thing about it, they require extremely few samples to train. For rather, we require these modern Hopfield networks to create a reward distribution. So what we do is the following. We take time steps from pre-played episodes and use them as patterns to store in the modern Hopfield network. Then we take a time step from a new, maybe unfinished episode and associate it with the time steps we have already observed. By performing this association, we obtain similarity rates or attention rates for each of the stored time steps from observed episodes with respect to the one time step of a new episode. We can then use these attention rates to compute the weighted sum over the return values of the observed episodes. So effectively, what we are doing is associating a new time step of a potentially unfinished episode with time steps in previously observed episodes and their return values. The difference of these return values over time is then our reward redistribution. This gives us a very robust return decomposition and reward redistribution model that is able to precisely identify important patterns and it requires very few samples to train. It only needs to observe an important pattern once to associate it with a higher return value. In practice, unfortunately, we will run into issues if we consider POMDP environments and use single state action pairs at a certain time step as patterns. This is because these patterns might then lack information about the history of the episode, so the previous state action pairs in the episode which might be very important to associate the pattern with a high or low return value. We can see this here, where it is very difficult to tell whether it's a good or bad idea to walk towards the door if we do not know whether we have collected the key or not. Since we are only interested in key events that happened in the past, so important things that we have already done or observed, we propose to use a reset max history to store and compress this information. This reset max history is essentially a feature-wise max pooling over the previous time steps of the episode combined with a reset gate. It is therefore very lightweight and fast to compute. 
we were able to show that Hopfield-based rudder outperforms LSTM-based rudder if there is only a small number of episodes available to train on. We were also able to show that Hopfield-based rudder requires very few episodes to identify important state action pairs and to perform a good reward distribution. We also took a look at the challenging Minecraft environment and the MinerL challenge. Here, the agent has to mine diamonds in Minecraft. In this highly complex task, the agent has to search for resources and create tools in order to obtain diamonds. The only reward the agent receives is given at the end of an episode, that is, whether it successfully mined a diamond in time or it failed. Via visual inspection, we were able to show that Hopfield Rudder requires only 20 human demonstrations to identify important state action pairs in the episodes. Of course, there's a whole team behind this work. Thank you for your attention and please visit us at the Offline RL workshop.